We're getting rapid fire NBA 2K18 news right now. I can't even leave my house because I know if I don't have notifications on my phone, somebody's gonna tweet some shit and there's gonna be an explosion on Twitter and YouTube and I'm gonna miss it. Yo, after 2K17, this game has to be nice. We can't go another year with the bad game. And so far, it been straight bullseye. I've been renting megaphones recently because when I'm excited, I, I need one of these to d express the excitement to the world. I mean, I think like a month ago, if y'all remember this video. I gained a lot of weight recently. I am super fat now. I don't know how it happened. I got into a chips habit. I can't control it. Just sometimes, you know, the ketchup lays taste too good. I'm gonna have that with LinkedIn. That was fun as to make. I have to start censoring myself because is demonetization shit really hitting hard, y'all? This shit takes 12 batteries to operate. Who has 12 batteries? This shit is 2017. Ain't nobody had 12 <laughs> batteries, man. This is how many batteries it takes to. Ch is 12. That's. One, two, megaphone. <laughs> Dick. Oh. Hello? Guess who just bought a megaphone? <laughs> Bro, I bought a megaphone. That was me. You know, since you're on camera and I got a question for you, why have I not gotten a free shirt yet? Why? Bro, you pay, why? Like, you pay like everybody else pays. What the? No. $80 a t-shirt. <laughs> I have fantastic news for the world. NBA 2K is implementing all the changes I've been dreaming about. This is some of the most fantastic shit on planet Earth. I'd be damned if I didn't share it with the world. Who are you talking to? Who? Where are you talking to? A man's. What man's? It's disrespectful. God. Oh, how about you? Oh my God. What's your skincare routine? Uh, what do you do for your skin? L'Oreal. And then L'Oreal for your hair? Of course. On your face? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know that NBA 2K18 is gonna be lit? Yeah. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. Did you hear about the news? Crazy, the crazy news. Yeah. You guys play NBA 2K18. It's because it's not out yet. Will you play NBA 2K18? Of course they will. What <laughs> question just, was that, Can we man? just play along and like, nod our heads? Yeah, you will? Yay. <laughs> we got a nod. <laughs> out the haymakers right now the amount of news that's dropping if you've been following Twitter right now you'll be knowing that some people are getting early copies of NBA 2k18 right now. now I don't know how smart it is to mess with those copies because I heard 2k was sending feds to some people's houses now since I get to play the game in a few days I'm not really that like I'm not I'm not gonna go that far but I mean it's out there Twitter was going crazy over it now there's an operation sports article right here and it was going in depth into the AI every year 2K tells us the AI's improved, and it should, and it's something they work on every year. I'm tired of the five out pick and roll shit. It was, I'm tired of doing that. And so I, I stood away from it for a while because the help defense just wasn't there. If you played help on the pick and roll man, is they kicked to the corner, open three. And if you didn't play help, they would take it right to the 10. It was a lose-lose, it was easily abusable. But if you, if you take a look at this article here, not only did they explain the specific things that they changed, but they gave example clips of what it would look like in the actual game of what the help looks like here. And they said they added a bunch of new defensive and offensive sets, which is dope. But the stuff that really has me interested in is, is more of a simple one is there's zone defense on Pro-Am. For those of y'all who play Pro-Am, pretty much every team ran zone defense and you would get penalized on your teammate grade for running zone because it automatically assumed you were always running man. There was no way to switch that. So finally, the teammate grade system is gonna adjust to being able to play zone defense, simple but big. Again, they said they added in new specific schemes like Brad Stevens is weak or trap the box, whatever, whatever. I don't really mess with any of those. There's usually like one or two sets that end up being overpowered each year and is what people end up using over and over again. Like this article goes on for a while. And thank the Lord, because you guys can see the screenshots. They no longer have the hexagon, pentagon, all that bullshit shit. Who thought of that? I'm so curious who decided that was gonna be a good idea. Not only was that a horrible user experience, but it looked ugly, so it wasn't practical, and aesthetically it wasn't pleasing neither. It was a lose-lose, but 
It's, they're finally back to having a regular menu that doesn't look hideous. I'm gonna have links to all this shit in the description if you guys really care about this. this is, I'm telling you, it's very long. Y'all don't care to go through every single one of these. There's another article on Forbes. Shout out to Brian Mazik. He can, yo, Brian pretends like he doesn't know what he's talking about, man. But I know Brian gets sent out to all these events. Brian knows more than he's letting on. This specific article here is more of a summary of what was told in the in-depth Operation Sports article. Uh, again, the 18... I don't... Doesn't matter to me. But this one here really does. Now, Brian thinks he's slick, right? So, uh, he, there's a question. Will there be offline and online my players? And that's a big question. I made my last video was talking about this. 2K said that you'd be able to build up your player on any game mode, including online game mode. So I'm saying you can be able to do it through the park. You can be able to do it through Pro-Am as well. And that makes sense. You should be forced to play rookie offline just to be able to upgrade your players so you can compete online. That logically doesn't make sense. Some people were a little bit like, yo, agent, what if uh, somebody on my team is going for long range Deadeye while I'm playing with them? Now, obviously they're not gonna implement this with no thought. They're gonna have fail safes in there so it's not easily abusable. Anyway, the question was asked, will there be offline or online my players? He responded, this has been one of the biggest requests over the past two years. I believe fans who are interested in playing online should be able to create my players free of the fair play restrictions. So offline people always get nerfed and buffed and patched based on what the online people are abusing. And the online people are forced to play offline even though that's not what they find interesting. So it's a lose-lose for both people here, the people that play my career and the people that play pro in part. Now, what he's saying is more of like a thought. I believe it should be like this. But Brian, Brian, you, you know more than you're letting on, Brian. He also addressed the what's up with the E-League question, uh, which is a very solid question since they announced it and we haven't heard anything since. One of the least discussed aspects, I have to make sure I was reading that right, least. One of the least discussed, discussed aspects of the game is how the new 2K E-League will fit into this. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. We know it's gonna be pushed in a major way. It will almost certainly be tied into my career. Thus, more information could be coming this week. See, he said more information could be. He knows it's coming. Now, I know he's talking about that New York event, and I'm hoping we see something to do with the E-League then, but Brian, come on, man. We know you know, Brian. Brian, we know you know, man. Just, yo, yo, just, you know, leak this shit, bro. Be anonymous source, bro. We will never know. Listen, man, there is so much happening in such a finite amount of time. It's like, We've been starving for news and 2K is just rapid fire, just shooting us down with info. Some of these are leaks, but still, uh, leaks happen. He doesn't speak English, he's from Hong Kong. I got you scared, boy, run up, hug your teddy. Go hang out with your girlfriends, go get your petty. You are- Hey, Troy, then what are you doing, man? Jesus, <laughs> you got a million views though, congrats. <laughs> okay, so I ended up asking Ronnie, he told me I can live stream the event. So if you guys don't mess with Facebook and you're not gonna go over to Facebook to watch the live stream, it's gonna be the official stream on Facebook on 2K's account, right? But Agent gets to walk around with his phone and live stream the event? Hold up! Yo, Agent's, yo, I'm gonna be the plug for real, man. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna schedule the live stream. I think the event's at like 3 or 3.30. Uh, so I'm gonna be there. Listen, I, so y'all gonna wanna tune in for the live stream for facts. Somebody approached me with the craziest spot on theory. So as you guys know, like LD2K is called it My Park. There was reports that it's called the Playground. That stack article that leaked the other day called it the Ballpark. So I put out a tweet, I was like, yo, yo, which one y'all think it's gonna be called? And I just assumed like they were all the same thing. But somebody tweeted at me, was like, yo, agent, what if it's ranked and unranked parks? What if the Playground's the casual place and then when you hit the park, it's a serious comp place. And that shit just blew my mind. I just, I had to sit up like this. I was like, yo, that would be the most phenomenal thing ever. They already told us that we could upgrade our player playing online. Now, I don't know the extent to which, hopefully it's badges, upgrades, and everything. But I, like, I'm trying to keep it cool, agent. Relax with the optimism. Don't get too crazy. I know the rules, okay? Every game that launches, I have to chill myself out. But when it's something like this, I just, it's tough to do that. Anyway, yo, if y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like if you haven't already. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Whew. Peace.